This video is part of my video series on how to create a Trezor Bitcoin wallet. In the previous video, we got ready all the things that we needed to set up your Trezor Bitcoin wallet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Trezor device and get started. You interact with your Trezor device via your browser. Currently, it supports only Chrome and Firefox. So connect your Trezor to your laptop using uh, the cable. You can also use any other micro USB cable for the Trezor one, which is common in Android phones or USB-C for the Model T, which is now used in the latest iPads or high-end Android phones. Once you connect Trezor, you can either go to trezor.io slash start as shown in the Trezor screen or open the Trezor wallet website, which is wallet.trezor.io. The first time you do this, you might get an alert to install a software called Trezor Bridge. So go ahead and install the software. If for any reason you don't see the alert or your browser cannot detect your Trezor device, you can go to this link and install Trezor Bridge. All the links are also mentioned in the description below. The link is also there at the bottom of the page at wallet.trezor.io. On the Trezor Bridge page, it shows me that the Trezor Bridge is not installed. So I'm going to click download and install it. This is the way you install apps on Mac. It might be a little different for Windows, but basically you have to install Trezor Bridge. So the installation of Trezor Bridge is now done. If you have any problems uh, with this step, go to this link to see if you can troubleshoot the problem. Else I guess you have to contact Trezor support. Usually this step should be straightforward. So great, now your browser can detect your Trezor device. The website wallet.trezor.io then becomes your Bitcoin wallet and the way with which you interact with your Trezor device. So let's finish setting up the Trezor device. <laughs> After you install Trezor Bridge, you will have to refresh the page wallet.trezor.io. In Firefox, you will have to restart the browser before it can detect your Trezor device. So now when you go to wallet.trezor.io and your Trezor is connected to the laptop, it will show you the welcome to Trezor page. At any stage, if you see an alert to upgrade the firmware of your Trezor device, click on the link and follow the instructions to do that. These updates are similar to updating the software on your phone. Trezor regularly pushes updates to add new features or for bug fixes. So I strongly recommend you to keep your Trezor device updated. To update the firmware, Trezor will show you instructions on the screen. For the Trezor one, it will ask you to disconnect the Trezor and reconnect it while keeping both the buttons pressed. Then you have to follow the on-screen instructions and disconnect and reconnect a couple of times. Again, all these instructions are given at every step. For the Model T, since it does not have any buttons, you will have to swipe the screen and then immediately connect it to the laptop to start the update process. Again, after that, it might ask you to disconnect and reconnect to complete the software update process. Once you connect your Trezor to your laptop, the web page wallet.trezor.io will show you two options, create a new wallet or recover an existing wallet. So let's create a new wallet. So now I'm going to click on create wallet. So we'll accept the terms and condition on the Trezor device. So it's preparing the Trezor and creating a Bitcoin wallet. So it's done that, but it's asking you to create a backup within a couple of minutes. So this is important. It's created your Bitcoin wallet, but you have to create a backup just in case you lose your Trezor device or you have to recover the wallet in the future. So that's a critical step. So let's click on create a backup. It's giving you these critical instructions. Do not take a photo. Do not store it on a computer. Do not store it on cloud storage like G Drive. Do not upload it to the internet. Basically, do not make a digital copy, which means you only have to make a paper version of it so that your recovery seed is secured. Losing these seeds means losing the Bitcoins in this wallet. If you lose them, there is no power in the world which can recover these seeds or the Bitcoins in this wallet. So no, really, I know this can sound scary at first, but you shall see that following the steps I'm showing you in this video, you can be rest assured that your seeds and your Bitcoins will be safe. This is also how you and only you control your Bitcoins without depending on anyone else. However, the control also means responsibility. So keeping these seeds safe is essential. And again, you will see that taking a few simple steps means your Bitcoins will be safe. So let's click on I understand and agree and click on continue. Now it's asking to write down the recovery seed. So we'll use this card, which is included along with the Trezor device. Otherwise you can use any plain piece of paper. Note that the order of the words is important. So make sure you write it in the correct order. Also a helpful thing to know is that these words are specially selected to avoid making silly spelling mistakes. 
and also no two words are similar so of course you should be careful with the spelling when you write them down but you can be sure that just in the rare situation that you made a silly typo you'll still be fine another nice thing to know is that the first four characters of every word would be enough for you to note of course you should know the whole word what this means is that no two words will exist in which the first four characters will be the same for example you won't have the word battle and battlefield as the first four characters are the same the number of words can be 12 18 or 24 don't worry about it and just follow the instructions also the same word can appear more than once so if you see that again don't worry everything is fine also something that I do is I check that there is no CCTV in the room and also that no other camera like a laptop camera or mobile camera can potentially see the treasure device or what I'm writing. It might sound a bit nerdy but I like to be as careful as possible when I'm setting up my Bitcoin wallet and I advise you to do the same. Before we will move all the Bitcoins to this wallet we will do a recovery test so don't stress and just follow the steps. Everything will feel new at first but you will start seeing the power of this technology and start feeling comfortable as you get familiar with it. So now let's look at the first word. The first word is goddess. Write down the first word. The order is important. First word one, goddess. Click on next. Third word is absurd. So here I've written down now all the 24 words. So in the treasure one, it's 24 words. And in the model T, I think it's 12 words, but it doesn't really matter. Just follow the instructions. And then now it's showing again. So it's going to check all the words. So I'll click again. And it's again showing the first word. So you can quickly go through the words and just check that you've written the correct word. So I'm going to keep clicking on next. Rally, always coil. Cool. So it shows you've successfully backed up a device. I'll click continue. Now it's asking me to enter the pin so i'll click confirm now the way it shows the pin is it shows the numbers over here on the treasure device and then it shows blocks over here so you have to match the number with the block this is again to protect the pin in case your laptop is infected by a virus and there is some key logging software so it protects that very nifty feature so Trezor allows up to nine digits in the pin, but it recommends six or more. Again, please use a random pin. Do not use a pin like 1111 or your birth date. Also, Trezor does not allow the number zero. As you can see, there is no number zero. I, I'm not really sure what the reason is. But if somebody has access to your Trezor and your pin, he has access to your Bitcoin. So keep a random pin and do not worry if you forget the pin. You can always recover Bitcoins using your recovery seed card. So the pin is to protect the Trezor device but you always have your recovery seed card. So you can also write down the pin on the recovery seed card. Um, again, you don't really need to write down the pin anywhere because if you forget your pin, you can recover, you can wipe your Trezor device and just simply recover your Bitcoin wallet using these recovery seeds. So let's go ahead and enter the pin. So the pin that I've decided is 845936. So I will see the number 845936. Click enter. And now the numbers have changed. So I have to re-enter the pin, but again, track the numbers on the block. So it's eight, four, five, nine, three, six. Enter, click continue. You can enter the name of the device. So Sunny Bitcoin, confirm the name on the device. Continue. You can add a shortcut to wallet.trezor.io if you want, just click continue. In this screen, it asks you in case you want to enter your email ID. I'm not a big fan of doing this because maybe it links your Bitcoin wallet to your email ID. I'm not really sure. So I suggest to skip this step, but if you want to, you can enter it. So I'm just going to skip this step, continue. And that's it. Your treasure is now ready to go. So let's click on finish. So congratulations, you've now successfully finished your treasure Bitcoin wallet setup process. So now let's have a look at how your treasure Bitcoin wallet looks like. So treasure takes you to the transaction screen. Since there are no transactions yet, you cannot see any Bitcoin transactions here. On the left side, you can see account one and below you can see the add account link. This link will only get activated once you have at least one Bitcoin transaction in account one, then you can add more accounts. You can use this feature in case you want to store Bitcoins of your family members in separate accounts, or if you want to segregate your own Bitcoins in different accounts for any reason. For most of you, account one will suffice. Below this, you can click on the wallet settings 
link which is the settings for this page this wallet you can click over here and you can change the currency and some advanced settings which we do not need to bother so you can just close this you can also click on sunny bitcoin on the device for your device settings these are for the device so over here there are some basic settings you can change the name and the change the pin you can change the logo of the home screen uh, which is this logo over here if you want and then there are some advanced settings which we are not going to get into you can disable the pin which i do not recommend you can wipe this device for any reason if you want to use uh, this trezor device with any other recovery seed you can simply click on wipe device or you want to reconfigure the trezor device you can do this just remember that once you wipe the trezor device if you want to recover your bitcoin wallet you need the recovery seed card otherwise that bitcoin wallet is gone forever please note that your bitcoins are linked to the seed so you might be wondering why i need this device i could simply store the seeds on my laptop yes that is true but since your laptop is connected to the internet and can be hacked, using a specialized hardware device like Trezor greatly increases your security. So if you lose your Trezor or you forget the pin or you wipe the device, you can always recover your Bitcoin wallet to another Trezor device by choosing the recover wallet option which we saw earlier when we set up the device for the first time. You can also see an option to perform a simulated recovery to check the seed. So let's go ahead and do this and it will also give us another confirmation that you have written down the seed correctly. So now we're going to click on the check recovery seed just to make sure that the seeds that we've entered are correct. So let's click on this option. It's a simulated recovery. In this case, we are performing it for this device in which we know that there are 24 words. We'll click on 24 words. We are going to skip the advanced recovery options for now. So let's click on continue. Again, it's asking for the pin. So it's eight, four, five, nine, three, six. Click enter. And now it's asking you to enter into the computer the fourth word. So the fourth word is spread. So again, the first four alphabets are key, which always will give you a unique word. So we can just enter in actually S-P-R-E. Of course, you can type the whole word as well. So just click spread. It's asking for the 13th word. Now the 20th and so on. Over here, it now shows the seed is valid and matches the one on the device. So the seed recovery, the simulated seed recovery has happened successfully. So you can now be rest assured over here. Also, it's showing backup check successful. So you can be rest assured that this recovery seed card is OK. And this is enough for you to recover your Bitcoin wallet, even in the case that you lose your treasure device or you forget your pin. We can also just simply write down the pin on the recovery seed card. So let's write it down over here. And now, for the moment, keep this recovery seed card carefully so that nobody has access to it. And in a later video, I will show you how you can use a tamper evident bag to keep the recovery seed card in that and then store it safely in a fireproof vault. So now we'll set up the Model T. The process is more or less the same, but because it's a touch screen, there are slight differences. So we've just connected a brand new Model T to the laptop. Now again, over here, it's showing install firmware. So you're going to click on this. This is again just updating the software. So whenever you get an alert, I highly recommend that you do that. So it's installing the firmware. This is not a necessary step. It's only if a new update is available and you've got an older Trezor. That's when this step is going to happen. So if you do not see this step, don't worry. It's just like updating the software on your smartphone. So it's installing the new firmware, the software on the Trezor Model T. You can click on the show install log. It's going to be highly cryptic. So I think it's install the software it's restarting the device great so it's done so it's showing the same two options as with the treasure one create a new wallet here it shows additional option of creating a wallet with a shamir backup we're going to skip this this is an advanced option so we'll just create a backup with this single backup option so let's click on this accept the terms of service over here it's showing an alert needs backup again it's the same as in the treasure one where it will give you a couple of minutes to to write down the recovery seed for your backup so here we are let's click on create a backup again the same warnings not to create a digital version of your recovery seed i understand and agree it's the same thing it's asking you not to make a digital copy so i'll click on i understand now here on the model t it only creates a recovery seed for 12 words again 12 18 24 doesn't matter just follow the steps so here it's showing the first two words neck and cook so in this case instead of the recovery seed card i'm just using a plain piece of paper 
So the order number is extremely important. So I'll write one and I'll write neck and two and I'll write cook. Then I'll swipe down. So three, let's see the next four words and write it down. Basic, poverty, orchard and slide. Again, swipe, you can see the next four words. So let's write them down over here. Again, the first four alphabets are critical. And the last two words. So let's hold to confirm. Now as a check, it's asking you to tap the third word. So the third word is basic. So let's click on basic. The sixth word, slide. So let's click on slide. And the tenth word, useless. So it's verified your recovery seed and you can now click continue. And your backup is done. So continue. So that's the process on the Model T. Again, the next steps are the same. Enter a pin. Click on yes. So here, because it's a touch screen, you can enter the pin straight on the device. So let's enter eight, four, five, nine, three, six, and re-enter the pin eight, four, five, nine, three, six. So pin protection is enabled. Click continue. Let's go ahead, enter the name of the device, Sunny Bitcoin T for Model T. Click Confirm, Continue, same steps, skip this step, Continue, and that's it. Your Model T is ready to go. So let's click on Finish. Again, if you want, you can do a recovery seed check. So let's do that. Continue and this time it'll be on the touch screen. So I have to enter the pin again. Three, six. So in this case, everything is on the touch screen. So let's select 12, enter the recovery seeds. Now, over here, because you have to exclusively use the touch screen, it's a bit more difficult but let's go ahead and do that so the first word is neck so n e c again the first four alphabets are key the second word is cook basic so the recovery seed is valid so you've done that successfully, you can click continue. And that's how you check the recovery seed on the Model T. So let's click continue and that's it, you're done. So congratulations, so you've now seen how you can set up the Trezor 1 or the Trezor Model T. You can create a new wallet and create the recovery seed for both the devices. Finally, everything done. This is a one-time setup only, so congrats on reaching this far and setting up your own highly secured Bitcoin wallet which only you and you control. Please like and share this video and do not forget to hit the subscribe button to keep a track of my future videos. In the next video, I will show you how to use your Trezor Bitcoin wallet to store and to send and receive Bitcoins. Basically, how to use your wallet. See you in the next one.